Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and we are back with Computer Tycoon. Our last attempt did not go well. It did not go well at all. It was a blind playthrough. I didn't really understand the mechanics of it. It all fell apart. I was several million dollars in debt. It was a bit of a pathetic attempt. So we're going to try again. We are going to try again and we are going to do it actually properly. I'm not going to be as rubbish this time, I promise. So, new game. Here's me. I've decided to go for this this lovely look, this natty number. I hope they're high heels. Uh, there's my name. Company name TGC. Like, you know, he's IBN and there was IBM, which is just similar to that. Yes, I must have borrowed it from it. Um, I'm going for the 10% production bonus again, because I think that's quite a good idea. I've gone for the color red. Difficulty normal. Random events random. Well, you can't change those at the minute anyway. However, Upon a recommendation on the previous video that we did, and also I've seen a comment on someone else's video as well, they did say, turn down the number of opponents. And the person that I saw that left a comment on my video said, leave it to two. Turn it down so there's two opponents. Now, I might turn it down. I've, I've taken four out, obviously, as you can see. I might take another one out. Now, you see, I quite like them as characters. Like William Big, he... I like his, I like his sort of, the fact that he's called William Big, Big's Computers, and on his graphic thing, he, he is quite a big gentleman. I quite like him. He looks like a no-mess guy. He kind of looks like a charismatic sort of cool leader guy. You know, he probably wears like, you know, sandals or whatever in the office. He kind of looks just cool and fashionable and sort of Italian. He's called Francesco Rapido, so I kind of want him. I might get rid of Harutu Sato, but I really like his company name of Cheap and Great. But I think we go for three. Let's go for three, or should we just stick with four? No, do you know what? Those four are good. I like those four. Let's go for four opponents. So there we go. Here we go. Let's start a game and let's do it properly this time and not be as terrible. Okay, there we go. There's a little welcome message. So for those of you who didn't see the previous part, the sort of the, the first look, um, this is the world, but the world is randomized. So nothing is the same. So you might be looking thinking, ah, well, I'll, you know, the USA is going to be really powerful and, you know, whatever, France and Germany are going to be very powerful. Not necessarily. If we hover over the USA, ah, now in that case, yes, their wealth is rich. There are also 872 million people living in the United States. Let's go and check uh, the UK. So the UK, poverty. So 3.3 million people in the UK, which is hardly any compared to the actual number. And it's all poverty riddled. It costs 450,000 to start there. So what we have to do is we have to pick a country that we wish to trade with. So we can sell computers in that country. So we buy the rights to it. And then we are going to build a uh, little sort of base in there, a site. And we'll build a factory and various other bits and bobs in there. So we've got to find somewhere that's affordable, but also has quite a lot of population. So wealth. Now, we'll see, we want, for the start, we want somewhere poor. We want somewhere kind of poor. You see, that's quite good. Turkey, but the population isn't very high. 3.7. Um, Ukraine is poverty. Wealth, poverty. Now, it costs quite a lot to start there, but there's 8.8 .8 million people. So, if you choose that, you've got 8.8 .8 million people able to buy your computers. Uh... Where else could we go? Romania is cheap, but there's not many people there. But then you could then buy the Ukraine and sell to the Ukraine. Or you could buy rich place. You could buy somewhere like Syria. That's rich. Actually, Syria is quite rich. They'll be able to buy lots of computers. That's worth thinking about. India? Oh, no, that's too expensive. So there is a startup cost, as you can see on the left. So 5.7 million of my $7.5 million would go literally on just setting it up. I don't think I can do that. That's a million. Algeria is... Oh, I was going to say that would be quite good, but that's 3.45 million. That's a lot of money it's right there. Okay, that's quite good. That's... Oh, no, that's too expensive. Oh, man, this is hard work to do. All right, Europe. Come here, Europe. You must be good. Uh, you cost nothing, but there's nothing in Switzerland. Italy, 6 million people. Germany... Right, population. Population. Again, France has got 12 Brazilian people. Yeah, France always seems to be really well populated. <laughs> Is he from France and it's always like that? Is the developer from France? I, I genuinely don't know. Um, Germany? Yeah, there's not many people in Germany. Poor Ukraine. Poverty. I'm tempted by the Ukraine just for the amount of people. But then well, they won't be able to buy anything, will they? They won't be able to buy the computers. Uh, a Turkey, Turkey is alright. Poor. Only 450 grand to start. But there's 3.7 million people in Turkey. Right, what's the red... What's that red thing again? Features. So they like features. They're not uh, features and performance. They're not so bothered about prestige, ease of use, or quality, uh, which is good because I'm going to be making them a computer. So that's quite fortunate. Greece. Uh, don't have many people in, but they are also in poverty. 
So we could do that. Okay, yeah, we need to try and map up these, as in population, with... Yeah, that's quite good there. Because what... Oh, Libya. <laughs> do I want to start thinking Libya? Remember, this is a made-up fictional world. Libya is probably really, really nice. Saudi Arabia? Costs a lot to start there, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe I want to go with one logistic point. I'm kind of thinking the Ukraine. Because 1.2 million to start there, but it's got 8 million people. Yeah, let's do that again. Like we did before, actually, it was the Ukraine. Um, in our previous run-through, we started in the Ukraine. But I, I don't think they were poverty-riddled then. So they like ease of use. They like ease of use. And they're not bothered about anything else. About features and performance and all that kind of stuff. Is that good? Ease of use was quite hard to do, wasn't it, last time? Ease of use was quite tricky to try and get hold of. Oh, I'm thinking we go to... Oh, hang on. Right, let me find a place. I could be here all day dithering about with this. I've got to try and map out between wealth and population to see where's good and, you know, what, what actually stands out. So let me try and find a good place. Okay, what I might do is something a bit different. I have two logistics points available. So I could buy Kosovo. Go to Kosovo, set the thing... Oh, no, where was it? Macedonia, sorry, that one. There, so set up Macedonia. Go, yay, Macedonia. 120,000 population. Set my thing up there. And then I've got one LP left. If I can find somewhere which is pretty good for one LP, like there, say Egypt, I could spend a million on that, and I'll have two regions already. One to manufacture my things, which is fine. I don't, I'm not really so bothered. And then Egypt could actually go and buy them. But yeah, Egypt is sort of poverty riddled. So I'll have to look for another place. So where would be good? Where is wealthy? This chart is a bit vague on wealth, isn't it? Okay, like up there. So yeah, Lithuania. They're not very populous, though, are they? Population-wise. So yeah, so we'd need somewhere which is one LP. But got quite a bit of population. And we might be able to do that. We might be able to buy... By that, or we could build a little center in there, in our place, when we've bought, wherever it was, Macedonia, build a logistics center and get another point. And then we could go and buy a place like Saudi Arabia, look. 10 million people, and they like feature... Actually, that's a pretty good idea. Let's do that right now. Yeah, we'll have Macedonia. It costs nothing to start up in Macedonia. No starting cost. Yes, please. I would like that very much. Okay, and let's set up a little site there. So it's got 100 grand to set up our industrial site. Let's go in. So now we need to set up an office. Yep, upgrade. We want a factory. Yes, let's, let's move time on. Let's actually start time going. A lab. Yep, we'll love a bit of the science. And logistics. So let's pop a logistics thing in. We're not going to put marketing in and we're not going to put recreation in. We don't need recreation yet. It doesn't actually provide you any kind of bonus. It's just required for like bigger factories and things. So you don't actually need it right now. It doesn't do anything. So let's go back out and look. I do I like this. I do like the way this looks. And look, there's little houses around the edge. I mean, it's a very linear road system, I'll be honest. And the cars have got into trouble on this corner. It's a very tricky corner up here. The old, uh, whatever it is, northwest corner. Okay, my building upgrade is completed. Right, I now have three LPs. Three, okay. Right. I, I thought I'd spent one on getting just here. But as you can see, look, they, these people have gone completely... How have they done that? How have they got so many LPs already? So they've bought loads and loads of places. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've got ten countries in their pocket already. Now, see, this is these guys have got four. Where do they get all their LPs from? Where do they get all their logistics points from? That's crazy. Right. We thought Saudi Arabia was good. One and a half million. Because obviously we've saved money from setting up in there. So we can get Saudi Arabia average wealth. So they'll be likely to buy the more expensive computers. And they've got a population of 10 million. So yeah, let's buy those guys. That's two LPs. So yes, we'll do that please. Thank you very much. And then we've got one left. Can we move time on? Why is that not lit up? That's, that's mine. Saudi Arabia is mine. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Um, yeah, Saudi Arabia is mine. Why did that not come up? Why have I not got that? It's spent it on it. Maybe it's just taking a while to think about it. I now have one logistic point left. I see Italy. Italy would be quite good. They're poverty riddled though, aren't they? Uh, wealth. Serbia. Rich. 501,000 people there. That's not very many though, is it? In comparison to other ones like Germany. Ah, Germany. Could get Germany. Could get the UK. 3 million. 
Can't get France, it's too expensive. Spain's quite expensive, but they will be quite good to have. Uh, should we go somewhere like this? Turkey. Turkey could be quite good. 450k to buy. And their wealth is poor, but they'll be nearby. They'll be on the doorstep. Yeah, go on. Let's get Turkey. So, yes, yeah, so we'll spend our logistics point on Turkey. Okay, cool. Right, now we need to go back to our site. So, I like looking at the site. There we go. Our Macedonian base. And, uh, yeah, we need to do some research. So, what do we want? So, these are the ones that we've already got. Let's get some new research. Uh, let's get ourselves some easy stuff. So, people liked features. Was it around here? Hang on. Let me go and check. I think it was features in our places. Uh, move time on. Why has it not gone red? Why have they not gone red for us? Or pink or whatever colour it is. Oh, it's taking a while to get out there. Okay. Uh, Bulgaria? Did I buy Bulgaria? Oh, no then. Hang on. Did I buy Bulgaria? Oh, hang on. What's going on? Why is that spreading out like that? Am I just acquiring these things out of pure... Oh, is that how it works? So they just spread. Why has that gone pink? <laughs> also, I thought I was red. I actually thought I was red, not pink. I'm very confused. Hang on, who am I? I'm red. Why is pink in there? Who's pink? And how has he just bought all those things? I'm Macedonian. The dominant company of my of the place where I am is Afari Solutions. Really? Okay, that's a bit harsh. Right, okay, well I've bought the rights to these places, so yeah, I can yeah, so I can do stuff with that. What's that? What's that do? What's that? Don't know what that is. Okay, I pressed the button. It didn't do anything. That's fine. Um, yeah, what did they like here then? They liked oh, a kind of mixture of things. Features. They were fine with that. Saudi Arabia liked features. Yeah. And uh, where did I buy? Turkey, was it? Turkey. Like, okay, everyone likes features. Features are a thing. Features are important for the people there. Okay, so what gives us features? A keyboard. That's nice and easy. Add a keyboard on, please. Eventually, I do want to get that because it brings the production cost down, but let's not get that now. What else gives us features and is also pretty cheap to sort of produce and also research? That is very expensive for performance. That's costly. That takes ages. That takes ages. These take too long. A tape drive. Yeah, add that. That's nice and easy. Now that, glass teletype, adds a few features. Some other stuff added loads though, didn't it? I remember now. BIOS, 10. 176. A speaker adds 15 features. A sound chip adds 40. Wow. Okay. They love all this. They love some features to these people. Okay. Let's get BIOS and then let's get ourselves a built-in speaker. Let's do that. Let's go for features. Let's get this feature rich. Okay. Hardware. Now we need to create some hardware. So first things first, we need to get ourselves a power supply. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it doesn't like it when now I'm out in the world. It doesn't like it when I'm flicking between the screens. Let's go back into uh, our sites. Go back to Macedonia. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit nicer. Hopefully it'll be better. There we go. It's not flickering as much. Right, power. So, yeah, AC-DC converter with passive cooling. Yeah, we'll take that. And uh, for this, is there any reason in doing that? The quality? Yeah, it doesn't really do much, does it? So if we drop that down... It drops our manufacturing price and our cost. And it doesn't really up. So the final quality could be 10.75 or 9.25. Well, let's drop it down to, say, there. 9.65. We've dropped our manufacturing price by loads. So let's create power 001. That'll do. And then we're going to go through and create all the other bits. So OS. We well, like features around here. So let, oh, let's pick opcode system first, like that. Let's put the features up and ease of use drop that down a bit. Just so it brings our manufacturing price down and the upfront cost down. Okay, that's... Do you know what? That's not very expensive at all. Do you know what? Let's make a good OS. Let's actually make it half decent. Let's call it Good OS. <laughs> good OS 1. That'll do. Create Good OS 1. Splendid. Um, CPU. That's probably important as well. Let's have a 4040 CPU with passive cooling and VLSI on it. Core Turbo. No, we don't need that. Let's bring... Right. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So it was 268 to manufacture. You drop that down, it can be 116. Wow. Okay, well, let's not make it that rubbish. Let's drop it so it's just about 200 to make. Like there. There we go. That's good. CPU 1. We're going to call it the uh, Penj Core. <laughs> Penj Core 1. There we go. Splendid. Right. Create the Penj Core 1. That's cool. Uh, what else do we need? A motherboard. We need a motherboard. All right. Uh, DIN connectors. Da, da, da. Put all those things on. Uh, features. Yeah, we like the features, though. Let's up the features. 
how much is that going to be? Or oh, 229. But then if we bring the quality down a bit, because no one's that bothered. So it's 50% less to the industry standard. That'll do. Uh, let's call it just motherboard one. <laughs> this is going to be very tricky when you've got all these. I wonder if you can retire the products. Because like in 10 years, we don't need to care about motherboard one. It's going to be just clogging everything up. I wonder if we can sort of dispose of it and go, no, go away. I'm done with you, motherboard one. Away with you. Okay, memory. Yeah, we need some of that. That with all that stuff on. Uh, I'm not going to put VLSI on because I don't know what it does. That's absolutely fine. So let's call that memory memory one. Yeah, that's good. We'll have that. What else is there? So we've got memory storage. Yeah, let's do one of the Winchester technology. Uh, quality and performance. Let's just drop them a little bit. Uh, quality we can drop. Oh, quality we can absolutely drop down. It doesn't make any difference. Let's drop it to, I don't know, minus 75% to bring the manufacturing price down. And then we can put the performance up a little bit. And that's fine. So storage. So Winchester storage. Which I don't know what that is. I don't actually know what that is. But I'm sure it's awesome. Okay, good. So now, is that it? Uh, storage. A display. Oh, of course we need a display. Blinking indicator lights. Right. Cram the features into that. Because I'll love that around here. And then drop the prestige right down to about there. So it's 276. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, blinky, <laughs> blinky lights. There we go. Blinky lights. Create blinky lights. And uh, we've got an OS. Yeah, that's it. That's all we've got. So as our research goes on, now where is it? Research. We're going to get a keyboard, which is good, and a tape drive. I want both of those in before we start doing anything. I want both a keyboard and a tape drive. So at the minute, we're just losing money. We are, we're losing a lot of money. But I want these in. I want the keyboard and the tape drive to be in play. There we go. Have we got the keyboard yet? No, it's taking a long time. Come on, do, do work quicker. Well, it's only a keyboard. Come on. Right, so 55, good. And the tape drive should be quick, because it's only 20. It's a nice, quick thing. Then we've got BIOS and a built-in speaker. They're a bit slower. And then we've got to figure out what we need after that. A <laughs> joystick. We can go and make cool stuff. Oh, yes, this is awesome. Right, um, let's... Get a new CPU after that. Let's get a new CPU once we've done that. Right, okay. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. Let's add the 8080 CPU in. There we go. So we'll add that next just for performance reasons. Now, we need to build ourselves a computer. We need to build a computer with shiny things in. A home computer. It's going to be not blinky light. No, no, no. Not the blinky lights computer. It's going to be the um, Penge Home PC one. That'll do. Penge Home PC. Oh no, we need. Yeah, we're gonna have two versions like we did before. We're gonna have a good one and a kind of cheapy one. So this can be the uh, Home PC XL because I like the name. Memory. Uh, that one. Yes. Add to computer. It's reset the name, which is a little bit irritating. CPU. Uh, yep, the Penge Core one. Yep. Add to the computer. Power supply. Bog standard thing. Plug it in. Motherboard. Kind of ordinary. Add that. OS, yep, that one's splendid. Right, we've got some storage we can throw in. So storage, because this is the this is your top brass computer. This is your awesome one. And input. Yes, we've got a tape drive. Oh no, I haven't manufactured a tape drive yet. Oh no, have I gotta go and do all this again? Okay, new hardware. Input device. Tape drive. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna call it that, I'm gonna call it tape drive. I'm inventive like that. That's a good name. Right, features will crank up. Performance will crank down. Gosh, that makes it very expensive, doesn't it? Are people around here going to care? Let's just put the features up to that much. Put the performance up a little bit. So it's 150. There you go. That's fine. Right, create tape drive. And now, add tape drive to computer. No, have we lost the computer we were doing? Yep, okay, never mind. Right, let's start again. Oh, dear. Right. Memory, yep. CPU, where's the CPU gone? It's at the bottom, the penge core. Uh, input, tape drive. Uh, power supply. Now, I know I don't actually have to click on each bit. I don't have to click on power supply to that button because you can click any of these and it goes, yeah, sure, I'll just add that in. But um, I, 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 it just helps me. helps remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Motherboard, OS. Right, and we've got blinky light, so we could indeed put blinky lights in like so 
And we've got some storage as well. Look, we've got the Winchester storage. So that's quite cool. So we're going to call this... Yeah, what did we call it? Penge Home PC XL, because it's the Fancy Pants one. Oh, 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 is it going to reset it? I want these with it. I want a keyboard and a printer. Please don't reset my name. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, that one. Right, save the design. I say we sell that for 2,300. All right, no, what about 1,900? Let's see how that goes. Right, so create a prototype. So we need to move time on a little bit now. So yeah, it's got a lot of features, a lot of quality. They don't care about quality around here. But okay, yeah, let's create a prototype. It's going into testing. I like this. Right, churn out that. Right, while they're doing that, let's pause time again. I'd like to upgrade this. Not the office, the factory. I want to get this done. So let's upgrade the factory. It's a bit expensive. And then we're going to make ourselves a cheap computer. So not the Penge Home PC XL at all. No, we're going to just have... A bog standard one. So memory. Yeah, that one. That'll do. CPU. Uh, yep, yeah, you. Power supply, because it obviously needs a power supply, because that would be stupid. There we go. A motherboard. Yep. Yeah. And an operating system, which we have to have. There it is. And we're going to give them an accessory of a keyboard, because they like that for features. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Oh, no, input. Let's give them a tape drive as well with that. Well, tape drives are very expensive. Do you know what? I don't think we're going to add a tape drive. Oh no, now it's gone back to hardware and we've lost it again. <laughs> yeah, that bit needs a bit of work. That little sort of screen system there. If you go out from your computer build to something else, it doesn't really like it very much. Okay, CPU. Yes, I've done this before. Power supply. Yeah. Mobo. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We know what's going on. Operating system, pick the OS, that one. And let's pick ourselves a keyboard. Okay, there we go. So it's basic. It hasn't, even got a, it hasn't got a display. There's no display on this. So this is going to be the Penge Home PC Classic, which means cheap and rubbish. Okay, and we're going to set the price. It costs 612 to manufacture. Let's sell it for 1099. See if people go for that, because the recommended price is quite a lot more than that. So there we go, 1099. Save that design. Uh, save it, yep, yeah. and create a prototype for that as well. Okay, it's gone into the testing phase. So now they're both in the testing phase. Yeah, state, prototype. So that one should now be done. No, okay, so we'll wait for the, the, the Excel one to be done. I do like that. I can't, how do you use it? Like how, what do you do with this computer in your house? Home computer is that I've got. To, uh, what do you do with it? What? What? what <laughs> how do you use it? Do you flick the dials and press the buttons? I genuinely don't know. Okay, we're going to send this out to market. We need some monies. Right, my new computer model is polished, splendid. Not enough manufacturing capacity. Really? I've got absolutely loads. I've got absolutely loads, haven't I? I've got a massive factory just there. I've got a huge factory. Why is it not selling anything? Your new computer model is polished. Okay, that's polished. Good. Let's go in and send that to market. Probably tell me I've not got enough capacity. Look at it. It is flying off the shelves. 1,026. <gasps> Look at the money rolling in. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, right. I don't have enough manufacturing capacity. That must mean I need to go to another site and build there. I need to go to my other places. So where can I go to now? World map. Let's come off that. Okay, so there we go. I've got that back. Saudi Arabia. Let's go and build in Saudi Arabia. The wealth, oh, the wealth is average, but then I could get some more logistics points from building over here. So Saudi Arabia, set up a little base. 200 grand. Yeah, whatever. We're making loads of money. So yeah, that's fine. And we need to build an office. So let's build an office. We need to build a factory cope with our demand and let's build a logistics place as well like so there we go beautiful i like this and you know what a lab as well i assume they work on the same science things so let's get them all in let's get a lab as well yep okay cool there we go right speed time on let's get all this built full view zoom back out saudi arabia looks very much like macedonia I thought it might look a little bit tiny different yeah it's sand or something in saudi arabia it's quite hot there but never mind right offices and stuff are in we're still making money even though we've got all this here this is tremendous okay research so now research should be going a lot quicker yeah it is it's going twice as quickly is it 
This is on normal speed. Let's just put it on fast speed. Yeah, look, it's going twice as quick. I don't have enough manufacturing capacity. I, I, I'm, I've got a lot of. Okay, fine. Well, let's upgrade this factory. Fifty-five thousand. Okay, well, let's up it. I've got plus ten percent manufacturing capacity as well. Crikey, is okay, fine. Okay, I've got the money for it. We'll upgrade that factory as well. Some stuff can grow out of the ground there. Okay. Now we only need to make another, possibly, we can't do any marketing, can we? No, we have no marketing department. That's because they were rubbish the last time. 7802, 7880. Right, we need another another PC on the market, really. Preferably with all these jazzy things on it. What about glass teletype? They'd probably quite like that, wouldn't they? Where's the thing that makes it cheaper? That. I kind of want that next. Let's move that up. That makes things cheaper to get there. Look, so it makes it cheaper to, for production costs. So I think it just affects everything. Everything has this 10, whatever that thing is. Ooms. And the semiconductor makes it cheaper to build everything, which is rather cool, isn't it? Right, are you done yet? Is your factory done? Are you upgraded? Let's just be time to really fast. Ta-da! Okay, the building upgrade is complete. 735... Eight on it. Right, so we're still making a profit. Splendid. We've got two LPs. Let's pause time. Let's go to the world. Oops. Yep, I didn't mean to press statistics. Right, two LPs and we've got nine million dollars. Where shall we go? India. Oh, goodness me. Oh my goodness. No one's got India yet. It's very expensive, but there's 38 million people there. And it's five, but it's affordable. I could actually do that. Okay. Do I want to do that? Kazakhstan. No, Kazakhstan. Yeah, see. Oh, no, but India like ease of use. And I haven't got ease of use on my ones. So they're probably not going to buy my machines. Yeah, let's have a look. Features. I've got a lot of features on mine. Ugh. Uh, South Africa. They like features. Oh, yeah. Let's go there. 16 million people. No opponent in South Africa. Yes. Let's buy South Africa. $2.4 million. 16 million people live there. Now we've got 30 million people. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Let's see how much that's changed my money coming in. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. I've got lots of money coming in. This is brilliant. I like this. Okay, right. Research this thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, okay, let's go to our site. Let's go to the Macedonia site. Let's upgrade the lab. I still don't have enough manufacturing capacity. I've got I've got manufacturing capacity coming out of my ears. I've nearly got 10 million, 10 million dollars. Okay, let's upgrade the lab to get more science quicker. So upgrade that lab, if you would be so kind. Is that doing it? Yeah, and on the other site as well. So over to Saudi Arabia we go. Or not. Not to Saudi Arabia. Well, this is Saudi Arabia. Macedonia, Saudi Arabia. Okay, yeah, upgrade the lab here as well. So let's upgrade that lab. Bosh. We want that to be better. Ooh. All oh, right. Now, that's just because I spent a load of money on it. It costs money to do it, does it? Half a million. Right. Okay. Ah, a piffly half million. Okay. That's very cool. Now, we have no LPs again. So, we could do with, yeah, Saudi Arabia. Da -da. Let's get you another logistics thing in. So, it costs 5,000. But I think if we up do it right, we'll be fine. So, let's upgrade that. Oh, it needs an office level two. Okay. I think we can cope with an office level two. Yep. Fine. And let's do that for the other place as well. So let's do that in Macedonia. Upgrade the office in Macedonia too. There we go. Splendid. Right. Speed time on. Speed time forward. Building upgrades are complete. This is good. Right. Okay. Over in Saudi Arabia. Upgrade logistics. Upgrade logistics. I know I don't have enough manufacturing capacity. It needs an office level two. Okay. Upgrade logistics. And yeah. Upgrade logistics logistics again like that splendid so when we get these two lps we'll go and invest our money that we're earning in a place oh, i'm tempted to just go for india here we go we've got four lp oh my goodness we're gonna have loads how much lp is that gonna give us eight really goodness okay well let's go and get some places on the map then then we'll make ourselves a new computer okay i'm gonna go for india 5.7 million and there's 38 million people yes do that, please. Yeah, that's a tremendous idea. Yes, we'll have a bit of that, please. Where else can we now afford? So, where would like some features? Because that's what we've got a lot of. The UK? 3.3 million people? That's, you know, they're poverty riddled. That's not very good, is it? Spain have got 16 million people in. 
That's quite good. Portugal. Portugal actually is pretty good. Portugal. No, they're, none of them like the red. None of them like features. Why are they not... Why is it not doing that? the filter very well? No, no, no. Right, Iran. 8.7 million people. Afaria there. But that's fine. I think we go for Iran. Let's try and steal some of their thunder. Is there anywhere which hasn't been claimed? Can we turn turn that off? Where's not dominancy? Ah, right, okay. So these places are not dominant. Okay, oh, they like it. 23 million. Oh, it's really expensive. It's very expensive to set up in Algeria. Morocco, not so expensive. One LP. Yeah, let's go and sell in Morocco. Yes, please. Very good. Uh, where else can we go? What about some African? Central African places. There. Chad. We've got four LP left. So, yeah, let's, let's go there. So, yes, we'll have that. 90 million people we've got now. Yes, I like this. Right, America is ridiculously expensive. Canada is expensive, but not stupidly so. Mexico, 35 million people for 5.2. That's quite cool, isn't it? And they like features. Should I go for that? That's quite a lot of money. Hang on, let's just see how much money we bring in per day. We bring in... A lot. We don't have enough manufacturing capacity. We've got a bit of a manufacturing issue going on. But I'm making a lot of money. Look at that. 7.5, 7.6. Shall I just get Mexico on board? Just get Mexico? No. Let's save my LPs. Let's spend it on. Let's spend one. Let's just find a place that's worth one LP and just go there. Come on. Somewhere must want features. There, you. Nicaragua. Yeah, you'll do. Yeah, I'll actually have that. Uh, that's good. That's an extra few things. 150 grand for one logistics point. Splendid. Okay. Okay. More. South Africa we've got. Uh, let's put a site in South Africa. Yep. Ta-da. It costs five... What? Five million to build a site? Goodness. What about Chad? <laughs> Can we build it in Chad? Oh, yeah, because they're... Hang on a minute. Are they more affluent? Average. Whereas Chad are poor. So it costs... It still costs five million to build it in Chad. Okay. No. <laughs> That's really expensive. Okay. What about there? Okay. It costs five million wherever you bloody put it. Okay. Let's put it in Chad. Yeah, whatever. That'll do. Yes. Five million. I suspect I might regret this. Right. We need to do the necessary. So build an office and build a factory. That's what we want for our production stuff. And now we need to build a new computer. But what I might do is, now we've got everything set up, we know what we're doing. Let's just let's shift the time on to see how much money we are making a day. 3276, 3386. Yes, yeah, so we're making about 110 grand a day, which is lovely. I think we've got all these sites around the world. That's quite cool, isn't it? What have we researched? Oh, we researched all sorts of cool things. Right, we're researching a new processor now. What else should we go for? BIOS with jumpers, sound chips. <gasps> Floppy disk drives. Glass teletype. That's quite feature-tastic, isn't it? 198. Yeah, let's get that next. Let's add that. And I don't know what a CLI is. Oh, command line interface. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I like the sound of that. Uh, ease of use. It makes it a bit easier to use. That's a bit unexciting. That, they're not very excited by that. Features. Let's have that, actually. 330. We should be okay at getting that. It might, it might take quite a long time to get... Building upgrades are complete. Is there anything that's really cheap? I could just get that. What's that do? Quality. It adds quality. Okay, let's add that in. I like that. Uh, they're quite costly to work. Oh, what's that? A gun controller <laughs> and a joystick. I like the. I like this. Okay, buy us. Yeah, all this other stuff's fairly hard to do. What's that? That's free. Okay, let's add that then because that costs nothing. So, yeah, we'll have that next, then. An 8-inch floppy disk drive. Why the heck wouldn't we do that? Okay, cool. Right. So, our next job will be to get some new hardware in. Because I think we might have learned some new stuff. In fact, do we wait for the new processor? We're nearly there. Maybe we wait for the new processor and then get some new PCs out there. Because already our ones are aging. Our PCs are aging. The Penge PC Home Classic. Actually, the Penge PC Home Classic is selling absolutely nothing. It must be too expensive. Okay, eight nine nine. Let's drop the price. Eight nine nine. Do people want the Penge Home PC Classic now? Yes, they do. Thirty seven of them sold. Seventy three of them sold. Okay, that's going to help with our monies as well. That's going to be beautiful. Eight hundred thirty one. Nine hundred fifty one. Yes. Okay. Right. We're fine for the monies. So yeah, next time we'll. I'll wait for. I'll wait until this is done. Oh, there you go. I think it's done. 
finished now. Ta-da! Yeah. I've got two new things. I've got another disk drive as well. Um, so yeah, I might wait until this is done now then. The glass teletype. Wait until that's done. Build a computer with an actual screen. Imagine that. Imagine a computer with a screen. And then make some other alternative computers as well. Okay, this is going far, far better than last time. Let's pause it and uh, look at some stats. Let's look at some stats. Budget. So the first year, 1974, we, we lost quite a bit of money. But we were setting everything up. Now, look at that. Home computer, 2.5 million off of that. And yes, yeah, site upkeep. Expansion was $18.5 million. That's quite a lot of money. Sales, crikey. Yeah, lots of sales going on. Customers, Saudi Arabia. Lots of Saudi Arabia customers. That's good. Montenegro. That's where we are, isn't it? Are we not in Montenegro? Oh, Macedonia. Um, okay, so average and poor. So the economy level is average. Okay, there's lots of graphs. Market share. Uh, my TGC. Oh, look, I've remained pretty constant. Everyone else has fallen. Is everyone else slumping? Is everyone else struggling at the minute? Okay, that's good. That's good. I like the fact that people are struggling. Most people seem to want features more than anything else, which is good because that's what I've got. And the singularity is a weird science thing, isn't it? It's a it's a victory kind of condition, which is an odd thing. You can hire a bodyguard for three hundred dollars a day. I might do that. You know, that's absolutely nothing. Let's hire a bodyguard. Does that do anything if I move time on? What happens? These will protect you when it's necessary. Do I click it again? Like, or is that hired now? All right, VIP healthcare. Can we can we do that as well? Oh, yeah, so I've bought it down. It doesn't tell me that I've got it. But, yeah, my chance to die in a year has been bought down. That's nice and happy. Yay. Okay, my computer is in so much demand that I can't actually make enough of them for people to have. Right, okay, we're done for now. We're going to stop there. And tomorrow, or whenever it is, when we come back, next time out, we'll be able to carry on, build some new computers, and go from there. But this is going far better than my previous somewhat pathetic attempts. So for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Flying rhinos are not allowed. Pink hippos are fine, but no flying rhinos. Doing that for that length of time is making me feel very uncomfortable. You're like violating me with your weird zebra eyes. Get off. Mystic. Okay, this is just an acid trip. If we can crash into a rainbow, then something is fundamentally wrong with the world. Whoa, you cheating giraffe git.